it's time for war. Hello again guys, this is Warzone episode 23. Let's get started. Monday Night Raw, July 26, 2010. First match started off with Randy Orton versus uh, Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso, not uh, yeah. It started off with Jay Uso, not Jimmy. Um, it was a pretty good match. Orton just like totally dominated him. Uh, Orton won that match. I give it a six out of ten. Next match: Great Khali versus Edge. Great Khali won, I guess you would call it, by count out because Edge ran away when the Nexus came down the ring. Uh, so I give that match a 4 out of 10. Next match, Hart Dynasty, uh, David Hart Smith and Tyson Kidd, Mark Henry, Evan Bourne, Goldust, Yoshitatsu, and Jerry Lawler versus the Nexus. And of course, Nexus won. They, no, nobody of Nexus got eliminated in that elimination match. Uh, Nexus won. I give it a 5 out of 10. It was a pretty good match. Okay, next. Brie Bella versus Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox ends up winning. I give it a 2 out of 10. It wasn't that much special of a match. Okay, next. Ted DiBiase versus John Morrison. Ted DiBiase ends up winning because um, Our Truth was trying to help John Morrison because uh, Ted DiBiase had his legs hooked on the um, ropes when he was going for a pin, and he uh, Our Truth pushed his legs off. But then later in the match, uh, John Morrison and Our Truth head kind of bashed against each other because our truth was still standing there and um it was able to get it was able to give Ted DBIC the win and I give that match a four out of ten. And then after the match Ted John Morrison and our truth were arguing arguing connects the Miz and Sheamus versus John Cena and Chris Jericho. The Miz and Sheamus won because Chris Jericho hit the code breaker on John Cena and left the ring. I give that match a 6 out of 10. Raw totally 5 out of 10. Next for NXT, the first the challenge was, no, it was no challenge winner, but the talking challenge, it was a pretty good challenge. I give it 4 out of 10. Okay, next. Percy Watson versus Zack Ryder. Percy Watson is the first ever NXT Season 2 rookie to beat a WWE pro. That looks pretty, that's going to look pretty good on, yeah, but of course last season the first person to beat a WWE pro did not win the whole, yeah, whole next, the whole NXT. Who was that, by the way? I think it was, what, Heath Slater was the first one to beat it, and it's uh, WWE Superstar. Okay, next. Um, Michael McGillicuddy versus Eli Cottonwood. Michael McGillicuddy won, beating, beating Eli Cottonwood to extend his winning streak to 5-0. I think... Michael McGillicuddy is going to win every freaking match he's in. I mean, 5-0? I mean, beating Eli Cottonwood? Okay, I give that match a 5 out of 10. The okay, next match, Koval versus Husky Harris. Husky Harris um, knocked Lay Cool off of the bottom of the rope and picked up the win because Caval was trying to make sure if Lay Cool was okay. But that's how Husky Harris ends up winning the match. 
Alright, which I think was stupid. Okay, I'll give that match a 4 out of 10. Okay, the person that was eliminated was Eli Cottonwood. I really didn't want him to get eliminated. I wanted Husky Harris to get eliminated because I, I, I haven't liked him since day one. He was the next to, he was, he was seventh in the last poll. He was next to last from being eliminated in the last poll. But, uh, Michael, uh, Titus O'Neill got eliminated instead. <laughs> I mean, when the, when the, when the crap are they going to eliminate him? I mean, today, I want, I want him gone. Fast. Soon. And, yeah, well, anyway. NXT totally 4 out of 10. Next for SmackDown. Chris Jericho and, or Christian versus Drew McIntyre. It was a good match. I do, uh, Christian wins. I give it 6 out of 10. Okay, next match. Big Show versus Luke Gallows. Big Show won by disqualification. I give it a 3 out of 10. Next match. Kofi Kingston versus Drew, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler won by disqualification. I give that match a 5 out of 10. Next match. Well, it was going to be Layla versus Stephanie, but Vicky changed it to Michelle McCool versus Tiffany. Michelle McCool won the match, and I give that match a 3 out of 10. <clears throat> Next match, Rey Mysterio versus Jack Swagger. It was a pretty good match. It ended up going all the way out into the <clears throat> streets of the, of, yeah, I forgot the place. Texas, I think it was. Okay. Um, it ended up going all the way out into the streets, and Jack Swagger um, got thrown out into the uh, Gulf of Mexico by Rey Mysterio, and then came through him out in it. I get that was a pretty good match. I get it six out of ten. SmackDown totally four out of ten. Okay, next for Superstar of the Week. Superstar of Raw is Randy Orton. Superstar of NXT is Michael McGillicuddy. And the superstar of SmackDown is Christian. And the superstar of the week is... I hear voices in my head. They count to me. They understand. They talk to me. Yeah, the superstar of the week this week is Randy Orton. He is pretty good. Okay, next next for Diva of the Week. The Diva of Raw is, was Alicia Fox. And the Diva of SmackDown was Michelle McCool. And the Diva of the Week is... Yeah, the Diva of the Week this week is Michelle McCool. She did pretty good against Tiffany. Okay, next, for Match of the Week. The Match of the Week came from SmackDown. It was Christian versus Drew McIntyre. It was a good, it was a really good match. Okay, next for show of the week. The show of the week this week was, had the, it was pretty good, it was a pretty good show of the week. Um, the show of the week goes to, yeah, Raw this week is the show of the week. It was a pretty good show this week. It, I, I would, I wish that NXT, or Nexus would have lost that match. But I know what they're doing with Nexus. They're they're letting them get the hype of winning, and then it's SummerSlam. Team WWE is gonna just step right over top of them, just dominate them. Okay, that's about it for Warzone episode 23. See you next week with Warzone episode 24. Until that, until then, oh yeah, remember to check out Wrestling Warriors episode 3 tomorrow, but until then, goodbye.